Jackal Pompadour Jr. Let's get it on. All right, so uh, wait till you see what's going on right here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, the episode's gonna be obviously on the Jackal Pompadour Jr. It's a two and a half inch bait, floating bait, and it's about five eighths of an ounce. Weirdest looking bait next to the uh, that Arbor Gas bait that I was using, but uh, this is pretty cool looking. We're gonna try it out. I've seen people catch some big old bass with this thing, so why not try it on a pond where I know there's some big ones at? It's nice and overcast right now. The weather's kind of cool, so these bass should be moving around. I've got about an hour and a half worth of light left here, so I gotta work kind of quickly. But as soon as I get this tied up and I turn this uh, camera up to eye level, <laughs> you're gonna see what's going on here because uh, it's truly insane looking. I've never seen the pond look like this. Well, I mean, I have, but not as to the extreme as it is right now. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. The kidney pond has been scalped clean. There are no reeds here other than there. <laughs> so we got full access to this pond, but uh, what a perfect uh, chance to go ahead and try to play this bait all over the place, the pompadour. Let's see if we can get some action off of this, man. Some top water. It's nice and cool. We got an overcast evening right now. And uh, I'm curious to see what this does. I've never used this form of bait. But it looks pretty cool coming across the water. So we're using a 7 foot 3 Cabela tournament rod. It's heavy action. That way we got a, an ability to go ahead and cast this bait pretty well and still have some backbone to pull in these big bass if they happen to blow up on this bait. But it's five eighths of an ounce, two and a half inches long. Again, crazy wing like action and crazy rattle action in here. Trying to be careful not to get snagged. I love when fathers encourage their kids to fish, man. He's teaching this little man, this guy can cast like a beast, man. This little kid, man. He knows what he's doing. But a second ago, off camera, uh, he was casting, and he lost a bait two days ago, and I th he threw the bait out he has right now and caught that old bait, so he got a twofer today. <laughs> but we got to get at least one top water blow up today. Again, it's fall, but looks like we're going to be having an Indian summer because next week on Wednesday in October, it's going to be 91 degrees according to the weatherman. So that's absolutely insane. I can't remember the last time it was up in the 90s in October. Look, there's a bass right there chasing. Hey, hey, bring your lure. Look, look at me. Bring your lure right over here. See it? That's a big old splash right there. He's chasing bait on the edge. All right, I guess his dad's not gonna let him go down there, so we're gonna have to cast over there. I saw that. <laughs> Did you have one come up at you? <laughs> All right, let's cast over here. You had one, uh, just jump on him right over there at the edge, guys. We're gonna try to catch that bass that uh, he's not able to get to over here. All right, we're going to throw a couple more casts in this area, and we're going to walk beyond him, and we're going to go down towards these reeds over here and pass those. That way we're not disturbing the little man here. Let him have his little glory there, because uh, he had a decent one that got off his uh, line there when he was trying to pull it up. All right, so we'll make our way down here. As I said, we'll give our little man his space, and we'll work right over here on the point. Casting over to the other shoreline. So I was talking to the owner across uh, the pond right here, and uh, he said a guy came with a big tractor, dropped down a gigantic lawnmower, and it took him a half an hour just to wipe out everything here. <laughs> but uh, let's get that back out there and work this bend. Usually there's something sitting right here on this bend. All 
All right, man. I already thought a bunch of cast guys. Not nothing hitting this bait yet. But we're gonna be patient, and we're gonna keep sticking it out, and we're gonna keep on casting. Got about maybe 30 minutes more of light here. Now that the whole topography of the pond has changed, uh, where are these bass at? I mean, they're gonna be in the middle of the pond. Or are they gonna be on the sides? Who knows? They got no shade now. The rest under. <laughs> So my assumption is they're going to be deep. But again, this pond is not that deep out in the middle there. It's probably like possibly four feet, maybe four, five feet at the most. All right, a couple more casts. We'll make our move again. It's amazing how much, if you look right there, how much litter gets caught in all these branches and cattails and everything else. I'm hoping somebody will come by and start cleaning this up because that looks nasty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward. As you can notice, you see the wind's pushing this way? So I got a feeling that the bait is going to be pushed up against the shoreline over there. So that's why I'm going to head over there, and then we'll head our way back towards the car. So let's uh, give me a couple seconds to walk down to the end and try to prove my theory right. Here's what I was talking about with all the trash right here, guys. I'm assuming there'll be a volunteer team coming out to clean that all up. Oh, there you go. See that? Something short struck it right there. That was our first action right there. <laughs> Little one. We'll pass right over it again to see if he goes back after it again. But I try to put myself close to the shore where I'm seeing the bait. That little guy's still plugging out over there, man. He's been out there for at least a good hour, man. Just casting and casting and casting. He wants that fish in the worst way. Keeps asking his dad, Where is the, why is the fish not hitting my lure, daddy? <laughs> he just keeps saying, keep fishing, son. You'll get something. So look right here, guys. See all the rings and everything? That's all, all bait moving all around there. See it? Even though it's trash there, it almost tripped on a stump. <laughs> he got one. There you go. He's got one out there, guys. Check him out. He finally caught one after all those casts. <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, man. I'm excited for that little kid. He's the only one who caught something. Looked like about maybe about a pound, man. He must have cast at least 200 casts. He even uh, kind of gave up dinner. <laughs> now I got to get one. <laughs> I'm not going to let the little kid show me up. <laughs> Man, there you go, guys. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Yes. Gigantic hit. Oh, my God. Oh, there you go, guys. Oh, <laughs> I paid off. Casting and casting. About two, three pounder. All right. We finally got the blow up we were looking for. Come on, baby. All right, all right, all right. I knew there was going to be one somewhere. Here you go. Pompadour Jr., guys. Boom. I cast it and cast it and cast it. I knew we were going to hit a big one somewhere, but boom. That thing absolutely exploded on that bait. I'm sure you guys saw that. Give me a couple seconds. We'll pop this bait out of here. We'll get a quick wait if I don't get hooked. I'd say, based about what I got right now, it's probably about maybe three pounds. That's what it feels like to me. And the only reason I came down here as you heard me earlier, is that I saw all of the bait fish being attacked around here. So that's why I had to uh, use my theory with the wind blowing the fish over here, the bait fish that is, that the big bass will be sitting right over here. And that's what I just did. I proved that theory. <laughs> just caught it just now, right there. Got a young lady right here. She's uh, admiring the big old bass. <laughs> All right, I love it when people see those big fish. He said, you caught that in there? I said, yep, just now. All right, so we're all zeroed out here, guys. Good deal. 
and we're gonna weigh her up. Hopefully she stays still. And, all right guys, 3.61 pounds, almost a four pounder. All right, so there you go. Three and a half, excuse me, almost four pounds of loveliness off the Pompadour Junior. Boom. All right. I'm sure the little guy would be excited to see that. <laughs> Let's get the uh, bass all aerated up here. Man, this fish has got some sharp teeth on it. But uh, I appreciate you. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> Whoa, and I'm almost gone. Look at this, guys. Boom, almost to my knee in uh, mud. <laughs> That's the sacrifices I take for you guys for the good old mighty bass. All right, so almost for two episodes in a row, I almost sink into the mud just to make you guys happy, but beautiful, beautiful, almost four pound fish, guys. I mean, uh, I'm excited. That's what gets your juices going when you have nothing going on all night long. As always, if you like our content, guys, you know, drop a comment below, like, dislike, subscribe. I mean, what <laughs> you just see everything is going on here. Boom, you got a big old bass just popping out of nowhere after almost a nothing day. But I'm gonna head on the highway and get home. My hands are shaking still.